We're going to tie one of my favorite jigs to catch lake trout through the ice. It also has a secret that most people don't know about. We'll start with black UTC and attach that to our hook shank. Continue back to the bend of the hook and grab some olive marabou. We'll measure it to be about one and a quarter length of our hook shank. Transfer the measurement and secure it to the back of the jig, taking tight thread wraps ensuring that it won't pull free. In order to build up the body, we'll fold back the marabou, wrap towards the head of the jig, holding the marabou back over and securing it in place. Wrap back towards the tail of our jig, trying to trap all the feathers in the process. Snip the excess free and grab some olive flashaboo. We'll tie in four strands to one side, fold the extra over, securing it onto the other side. We'll measure out our flashaboo to be a bit longer than the marabou, and snip the excess free. We'll then grab some olive estaz, pull the tips free, and secure that to the back of our jig. We will then begin wrapping to the head of our jig. In doing so, we want to ensure we cover any visible olive feathers in the process. We'll then wrap our olive estaz forward, brushing the fibers back as we go to ensure we don't trap any in the process. Secure tightly to the head of your jig by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. We'll then grab some olive silicone silly legs, attach this to the call of our jig, securing it tightly in place. Once complete, we will snip the excess tag end free and then snip it to length, roughly about half the length of our marabou. Repeat this process, tying one in on the other side. I like to use my whip finisher to add a prominent band to the head of the jig. Doing so will increase the durability and hold everything in place. In addition to this, I will also add some head cement, allow it to dry, and then paint it over with some UV resin. This will help prevent any fish teeth from getting in and cutting our final thread wraps. This particular pattern doesn't work well on a fly rod, but instead is used for conventional and ice fishing jigs. If you'd like me to tie one up for you, you can visit my website down below and I'd be happy to send some your way. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.